Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph Repressurize for Minecraft 115. Today we're going to do a little bit more in um, mystical agriculture because it's time to get some of those uh, other types of seeds, animal seeds and that type. Uh, we need those for makes life a bit easier. And we're also going to automate this behind me. Well I say automate, what I'm going to do is so it controls the pressure according to the amount of oil that's available for the refinery. So when there's no oil in the tank, they might as well stop. So let's go and do that first of all. I also have a little tree farm here as you can see. Uh, it's important when you're with a tree farm that you make sure that your drone here, this one actually does have with it a life upgrade because as you see it's now in a tree and when the tree grows it'll die. <laughs> but also it didn't handle this very large tree very well. We'll have to clear that up later on. Anyway, let's get started. So what I want, actually I've got the bits I want with me already. I've got a lever here. And I'm going to put this lever um, around about five blocks back from here. Because then we can control this air, the pressure here. So what we want at the moment, you'll see that this is on and the pressure here is zero. So let's go back. I think I want the lever around about here. So we turn that on. And then we can, oops, wrong. Then we can put redstone here. Two, three and then it'll come here so I'm going to leave this here until I've finished the other part now here we have the, the controller and when the controller the refinery controller has got no um, oil in it to process it's not doing anything is it so we want it to make sure that it turns off now that's very easy to do all you need is a comparator here the comparator will light up give you a redstone signal up according to how much is in there now at the moment it's zero so what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is on. So I've got a block here, some polished granite. We can put that down here. It looks better than ordinary granite. Put a redstone signal on it like this. And then just bring this redstone signal back into oops, back into here. Uh, and I want it at full power. So what I need is a, another repeater here. And because it's too close to this, we also put, need to put down two repeaters. Well, one repeater here, one repeater here, so that the, the redstone signal here doesn't cross into this, or vice versa. And then all we need to do is now put down some redstone like this, and you'll see that this is lit up, and this now has also a threshold of 15. This should also be 15. So let's remove this now, and then we can see that this is still 15 because it's got that redstone signal. Let's put this one down here. Now, this is going to then get a no amount of pressure and it should be around about one bar or slightly above one bar so then it's not using too much air to to get this heat or to tube heated up or cooled down whichever way around you're going it is it night time already goodness so what i need to do next is to either take this tank i've got here above it or we'll put in a dispenser upgrade into that i'm not sure i've got a dispenser upgrade with me yes i have so we can put a dispenser upgrade into this tank like this I think it's got other upgrades in it. Speed upgrade and that's it. Speed upgrade and dispenser upgrade. Obviously speed the dispenser upgrade should allow it to push oil into here. It's not doing. I thought it did. Let's double check that one. Or to eject fluid into the upgrades configuration at a rate. Anyway, it's night time. We're gonna have a quick sleep. I think I've got a bed just around about here actually. What we're going to do with the animals, we're going to slaughter a few of those animals, but first of all we need to make a dagger. So let's have a look, see if this is actually emptied out in here. No, it's still 16 buckets, so that isn't working. Ah, oh, hold on, I've got to shift right click any block to set the direction, so I need to shift right click down here. And hopefully that's the block I need to do. Nope. Then we have to remove the refinery controller. Ah. Tell you what we'll do. Let's. I'm not quite sure how that works. I thought I used to know how this works. Shift right click that. No, it's not working this way. Let's just break it with a big axe. Yes, that's the one. Let's drop that one. I've not got any. Yes, I have it. It's slow. So what I'll do is I'll remove the, the refinery controller because we don't actually doesn't need to be there. 
And there's a block. <laughs> yes, there's a. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I put a torch down to see if that made any difference. Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem to make any difference. So what we want to do is put the refinery here. I don't know how I'm going to do this, to be honest with you. Let's put the refinery back again. Does it matter which side it faces? I don't think it matters which side it faces. And then shift right click this. Maybe that will do it if I then put the dispenser upgrade in. If it doesn't, okay, it's not working. And I ain't exactly sure how to get that to work. Never mind, we'll find it, figure it out at some stage. So let's just break this and then right click this with the, with the, with the tank anyway, it fills it up. With the tank, so now it's in here. So this should then have gone off. We should now have a 15 power here. Oh, he says that. Yes, yeah, so and this is actually off, but for some reason it's not gone off. Have I got something wrong with my redstone here? Maybe this block is actually a problem. Let's just remove this one here. That's uh, gone. Where's it gone to? It'll gone into this hopper. The hopper's very good at picking stuff up. Um, I think I need to put this down here. Oh yes, that's what I've done wrong. I've just placed them in slightly wrong. Let's just put this one down here like that, and then this one is now off and then we can put this one down here because it will interfere and then we can put a piece of redstone dust just here just moves it along a bit so as you can see this is now at zero as you would expect it to be because this is full powered here it doesn't tell you oh yes, it tells you on the block so we've got power 15 here so this is off therefore all of this is off so then that would have a bar pressure of um high enough so it would be then zero if that goes on. This in this case, as you can see now, it's off. What we could, of course, do is just put a lever down here and just turn it on that way, and then you'll see that this pressure now is zero. So it's going to cool down. I don't want to do that. I want it to work automatically like this. So it's got 1.3 bar, and that 1.3 bar is coming from this redstone signal of 11 here. So now we can then have a look at the refinery and it should have enough heat. It's actually temperature is 99, but that should be sufficient heat. Oh yes, it is going down slowly, so it is working as you can see. Normally this jumps up to over 100 here when it's actually reached that temperature. It seems to be better now. And these are all filling up nicely so we're, now we need another way to get rid of these fluids out of here when they get full up so what we want to do is to put those into some tanks and the way i'm going to do that is with logistics i am not going to put logistics frames on these blocks themselves i think i've got a block missing here um oh yes i had the tank there before didn't i so i just need to put down a block or any block i'll just put a bit of dirt down here like this shift click it on and we'll get rid of it later on so that'll then be won't have any problems with it problems okay supply more heat it should have enough heat because it's got enough power if we actually turn this one off then it, this will then be maxed out 4.9 threshold is 4.9 bar but i don't want to do that because i'm sure this will work at 1.3 bar because it normally ticks off at one so now the temperature is what as you can see 150 it's going down actually surprisingly quickly maybe i do need to shorten this down by one block now it's stuck at 128 127 so it is going down slightly it's just a balancing act but it did work before with 100 and um with 1.3 bar in here now that 1.3 bar is then allowing these to not be used all the fuel up immediately as you can see at the moment it's low um so it'll keep burning until this is has it gone off actually it's already gone off yes it has good so as that goes as the pressure goes down here this will switch on again that's all i want to say about that next thing is the mystical agriculture i am still confused about this the underneath here i have got some um titanium I don't know what's it called, I can't remember. So look. Um, tertium, isn't it? So I've got a tertium growth accelerator. 
Tertium seed reprocessor, Tertium growth accelerator. It says it's got a range of 36 blocks. But I don't understand that. In 112, I think, or maybe 114, this used to work vertically. So these days, this doesn't work vertically anymore. So we can simply get rid of all of this stuff in here, like this. Let's just. Uh, yes, I can already excavate this out, can't I? And this. And this. It is not going to work. As you can see, it's going to all get picked up by the collector drone here. And they're going to get put into this chest. So let, let it just do its business. And I've got some more myself here, so we can get rid of that. So it's already put 19 blocks of dirt in there. I've probably picked up some more. Let's put those in there as well. So now I believe it just works horizontally, but it's still confusing me a bit. I didn't pick up this one over here. It must be slightly out of range. And the tree farm is also... Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. At the moment, it's not worked really well because I've got a sapling here that's not been planted. So again, I'm not exactly sure how you make sure that this has got a sapling. So just move it out of the way and put a sapling down there. You just have to come on time, sometimes come and maintain it. So they've got two harvesting drones. One's on here and the other one is on here. Now, the collector drone, I want to show, demonstrate that one again because I misunderstood it last time. When you break this like this, when I shift click that on this here, it's going to use the ingredients in, in the chest. The contents of the chest is what becomes the filter. So if I place this down beside it, it uses this inventory without a filter. Now, over the other side here, I have, let's go and have a quick look at that. I've got uh, mystical agriculture crops here. And when I put it down, collected around down here it's hissing away again when I put it down here it didn't work because there's a mystical agriculture crop I've put some crop support since then so if you obviously you can't put it onto a chest directly without shift clicking it so it always filters and at the moment you can see I've got quite a reasonable amount of stuff in here a lot of eggs from these chickens so let's get on and do the next bit I would like to make a psyllium dagger. Um, so I'll look at the recipe for that. I've got that here somewhere, I think. It should appear in this list here to see it's the same colour. So we need a gold ink, golden sword plus some psyllium ingots, which again is prosperity ingots, which is iron with four prosperity shards around it. And then two psyllium dust. And the recipe for psyllium dust is from a psyllium block or you cook it. In fact, it's just mined up. There's two types of things, so let's do that. You get sodium dust, that soul dust, you want sodium dust, this one. So we need four of those, don't we? I think we need four of those, because we needed two ingots, didn't we? So we need eight prosperity shards. I'm running out of prosperity, I'm gonna have to go mining for some more of that. And we also need some iron ingots. Two of those, I think. So quickly make this and let's quickly make this up. Put the iron ingots in the middle. Like that. Then we get two of those. Put those in the corner and then put these around it. So we get two sodium ingots like this. So first time I've done that, so there we are. So the rest of this we need um there we've got those. Sodium dust, we need that and a golden sword. So I've got a stick with me. Yes, I've got sticks. Just two ingots of right, gold. And solium dust, I need two more of these. And I've been using the Fortune pickaxe on here, the Fortune 3 pickaxe, when I've been mining this. So you get quite a decent amount when you mine that. So let's make up the golden sword. In fact, probably you can type uses on this. And then we can simply select it straight in here, solium dagger. Now this when we grind creatures we're going to go and grind these chickens over here but before we do that we are going to make the jars that are required for this so let's get up there they've got some jars in here i think they're called jars indeed they are and you get these different types of jars and we need four for every seed we're going to make so a soul jar by itself is soul glass plus some sodium ingots and i'm going to make four of these so let's do that so actually quite a lot of 
four iron ingots. I've got, I've got plenty now. Actually, I've got some more for some boots, but I think I'll just ignore that. Just that's it, four. I only need four of those, don't I? Let's halve those. And then we need prosperity shards. We need quite a lot of prosperity. We'll take it all out of here. I'm definitely going to have to go and do some mining. I'll try again. Where's it gone to? I'm looking for my. There we go. Hidden away there. Okay, that'll do. And then we need some psyllium disc. We need eight of those. Take half a stack with us, and then we can put it back later on. And then we need some. This time we do need soul, soul dust. Now soul dust recipe for this is just to basically cook up your soul stone cobble three times. So you get the first time you get you get soul stone, soul stone, and the second time you cook it you get smooth soul stone, and the third time you cook it you get so um, soul dust. If you look at that, just to, I think that's pretty well right. So we'll just double check it. The recipe for that was smooth soul stone. The recipe for that was soul stone recipe for that it was soul cobblestone so yes that's correct and before you actually get this and then you basically just mine this up from the nether wow we also need some glass i think i've got some glass oh yes i've got glass in here we need three pieces per jar i don't know so we need four twelve okay let's make a look at the jars again so we need these so let's just do that so got 12 of that's fine and then we could be able to make up these four jars like this but I haven't got enough space in my inventory um, so yeah, let's put the sticks let's put the sticks in the trash it doesn't disappear until you click them out so we've actually got exactly four and then we can put down put back the soul dust and the sodium dust in here and I can take the sticks out of there like that I've also got one more Inferior essence, I'll get rid of that. And six seeds. So, the next thing we're going to do with these, we're going to set up the seed reprocessor. But first of all, it's night time, <laughs> so I have a quick sleep. Seed reprocessor is a way of. Because I'm getting so many seeds, I didn't expect to, I haven't done before in the past. So, what we're going to do now, we get extra. Right, so, we've got these four here. So, we're going to start to kill these chickens. These should start to fill up. Let's have a look. Yes, here we've got a soul jar with chicken. It's four and a half of ten. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't hit them. There we go. And it doesn't matter, just as long as you've got them in the inventory. I've got two more to go. All right. It's taking a long time to actually hit them. Well, I'm not sure if it's lag or whatever. Seems to be a bit of lag in here. But I think that's it. Let's get out of here now. For some reason, it's, oh, there's another chicken just got out of the way. Let's get, let's get him as well. Good. That's got two da attack damage. So as you can see now, I filled up one jar and uh, two jars, and I'm on the third jar. So that's how we get those that stuff in. If you haven't done it before, you'll see it, all these feathers. I'm going to pick them up, and I'll be back in a second. I'm just breaking some eggs at the moment to get some more chickens. I have literally stacks and stacks and stacks of eggs from the chickens. It, the, the hopper that underneath there was filled up fairly quickly, and then I've been putting them into here as you can see. So from those chicken chickens, I got I think we're about 14 chickens. We got 12 of those. That's only going to need a few more of those before we can finish off. At the moment, I've got there's no more chickens in here, which is good. It has been picking up a few ink sacks. Because there's the occasional squid that dies around about here. Give it a suicide. Um, here I've basically been getting some more um, crops. So this one was wood seeds. So it doesn't, it's not necessary, of course, to grow wood seeds in here. And I've been putting crop supports around. As you can see, crop supports do make a difference. Let's have a quick look over here before we leave um, this, or most of mystical agriculture. A few hoes have disappeared from in here, but plenty and plenty of seed. Look at all this. Um, loads of inferior essence, but stacks and stacks of seeds. I've already got two stacks of seeds. So we're going to make the, re the, fi the seed reprocessing thing. And we're also going to upgrade the um, 
Well, you might notice I've got some nether warts here. I went back to the nether. I did find the fortress very close. Um, I'll show you what that is, maybe, if we've got time. But I want to upgrade this, first of all. And I also want to make a seed reprocessing plant. And with a bit of luck, we can also make a guard drone. <laughs> I know I'm intending to do, but I'm doing quite a bit of mystical agriculture at the moment because that's how to get the resources after I've got the mystical agriculture. I'm not going to be using the weapons or the armor, which is which are very good, both of them, um, to do this. I'm going to basically be doing... I need more space, goodness. I was thinking about it. I've got inventory space. It's really getting a bit consumed. So I've got a stack of eight seeds in here. Let's get rid of these chicken jars out of here if I can. Get rid of one. That's not enough. What do we, oh, I've actually got this harvesting drone. I also should put that down. I'll put that down and come back in a second. So, for this I need 14 ingots of iron. It looks like it's only actually... There's six here, plus four here, that's ten. Plus another four in here is 14, because these are iron hose. Let's get that out. I've only got four, so let's get the other stuff out of there. 14 I needed, didn't I? Let's get 14, of which we need two to be solium. So we've got that, and we need some solium dust. We'll go through this stuff fairly quickly, don't we? One of those. Uh, is that enough? Plus we need some sticks, which we've got for the hose, and some redstone. The dispenser upgrade didn't work. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Let's just not put it there. It's a bad place. Because I'll forget where it is. So right, so we need two solium ingots, don't we? So let's get those done first of all. That unfortunately fills up my inventory, which is not good. Let's take this out of here. Let's put those in there for the time being. Um, can I do it like this? Yes, I can. Good. So we've got those two. Let's take that out of there and I'll put those away. I don't think we need any more of those. Hose are going to be tricky, but there we are. And this makes the lowest level of um, repressing plant. I don't need those iron seeds either. And I, I think I filled up with stuff so I can't yes, really put this in, didn't I? Let's put that over. Let's put this then somewhere else then. Have we got space in here to, to put these jaw, jars in? Yes, but not too much, have we? So we've got two tens, and this one here is empty, and this one has got one chicken's worth. I'll put the empty one in here as well, I think, for the time being, to give us more inventory space. Right. I also picked up some fire essence. I don't think I've got space in here for fire essence. Nope. It goes outside for the time being. Right, so seed reprocessing plant. So we need to make this up first. Let's make one of those up. And then we need two hoes. Or two iron hoes, like this. And then we can make the, f the seed reprocessor. I think we can make this good. So that's that one. Can then upgrade this with an inferior block. So this is exactly the same recipe as the um, uh, as what's it? Not exactly the same recipe as the furnace. Instead of having a f furnace in the middle, you've got a seed processor. So let's get that as well done because I think we can do that easily enough. So we need two more inferior ingots for that. Uh, sodium. Because I need some more prosperity shards. I think they're just about finished. Goodness, I've gone through a lot of those. Um, so let's get those done. Because we need inferior ingots in this case. Twelve. That's not very much left. But anyway, we'll do that off camera. But I've got enough of the next stuff that we need to do. So we need some inferior essence here. And we need some more. I'm just going to get it from this chest out here. I want to set up the guard drone because I was killed. I forgot to press escape <laughs> when I was doing something else and I got a creeper basically. So that was a mistake. I just went away from the keyboard and forgot. So let's get that done. We need a block of this. Like that. We need two ingots of this. Let's put that up there. And one of these inferior essences. And we should be able to do this one. Fantastic. So this probably needs fuel. I haven't actually checked what it needs. We'll use the iron. Here, I hope. Uh, 
indeed it needs some fuel so let's give it some fuel what can we use we've got plenty of co coal these days because i've got a coal seat and that makes a difference let's just put in a couple of these i've also got a reasonable amount of charcoal actually charcoal is free we'll use charcoal let's put that into there and then try again and then put in the in here so that's producing that oh it does actually use this without okay that's probably not a good thing what's it producing here ha huh, i don't know what it's producing here that's interesting it's obviously producing something i've got to get rid of Aha. let's have a look at the book the book quickly maybe we can find it in the book so what do we want here so we've covered soul soul stone we've got weatherproof blocks which is going to be great sodium dagger and soul jar so we've covered all of this as it happens even though or at least most of it elementals elemental essences no i don't think that's the one machines seed reprocessors there we go so they used to convert excess seeds into their respective essences they are not solid fuels of internal power and have an internal power storage buffer well that must be what it is that must be power here that's getting created so as you can see we're getting inferior essence in here of course if we change this to something else we're going to get something else so iron seeds will give us iron essence of, uh, of course which is great so that's that done so the next one i want to do is i want to upgrade this which is and i've got all the bits and pieces i need in here anyway so i've got the prudentium essence i've got the prudentium block and i've got two prudentium ingots so we can right click the uses of this one here the inferior furnace or the use press the uses button on it shift click it in and we now have a prudentium furnace I don't think I'm going to go and redo any more on camera for these because now this is going to be a bit faster. It should be more efficient on fuel. And let's have a look. Let's just put in one fuel in here and take some cobblestone if I've got any left, actually, as it happens. I've got 64 cobblestone, not very much. Oh no, I've got some more down here. Look, didn't see that. See how many one pe one cooks this. So this should be a little bit faster. It says you can click the button. Oh, that's just the recipes, isn't it? And it should be 135% or something like that. So we should get more than eight. While that's cooking that, let's make a drone. So what we want is a, um, a normal drone. Now I need two of those. I've got 24. Yes, that's good. We've got 24 redstone time of day is it? it's night time so we'll have to go outside and we'll, we'll basically just have a quick sleep i also want to upgrade the watering can today as well but i'll do that i think it's the same as everything else but i do want to oh well thank you missed dreadful good i'm throwing away my bow i don't want to do that let's go and get that pick up the rubbish it's got there Actually, it's not rubbish, but it's good. <laughs> this tree has not got harvested either, so let's have to deal with that. I'll do that with manually anyway. So what I wanted to make was a drone. So we need to make these turbines again. So we need... Oh, I need four gold, don't I? But I need 24 of those. I'll go and get some more gold and come straight back. Well, I need a little bit more than... I need um, 12 gold. I don't know what calculation was doing there. So we should have in here a couple of blades. Good. Those for, for the two golds that I put in. And the rest of these should come out straight away almost. So look at the hopper. Have you already gone into the chest there? Indeed it is. So we need 12 of these. Compressed iron should be in this chest here. 32, yes. So we can make up the rotors. The rotors are as usual. These way, it's just three across like that. Move the one in the top and you get your four rotors. Now, the uses of these, we want to make the guard drone. So that's an ordinary drone. These we don't care about at the moment. The guard drone. So we need an iron sword. Have oh, I got enough pieces of iron with me? None at all. Okay, quickly go and get that and make the drone. Now this drone will defend an area, and it's a reasonable area, it's 33 by 33 um, across, I don't know, I wanted to do it, 
and I guess it's 33 high as well. Well, height is less important for us at the time being, but um, the area is pretty good, so we'll make probably make a couple of these. So now we can look at the uses of the iron sword, and sure enough, we can make our guard drone. Pressure zero bar. Now I should be able to charge this up just by shift clicking it onto this charging station. I don't know if I can find the journey station wherever I put it. No, I can't do it. Can I shift click? Yes, I can. So I can shift click this on here like that. So this should be charging up. Pressure one bar. So as this, hopefully it's got one bar, more than one bar. Let's have a look. Yes, it's moving as you can see. The air pressure is moving out and into this drone. Uh, oh, it's 0.3 bar now. So that'll fill up and then it'll defend its area. Now, what I have to do is actually have a chest with something in it now we can give it i need to put it on the chest with either ammunition or a weapon so what i'm going to do we'll, we'll do some iron we'll do some iron swords we'll make a couple of iron swords up and we'll put another chest down if i can actually reach the stuff so we'll make a couple of these last well, probably let's make th three i'm not sure how many we're going to need so we've got three sticks that's perfect so we just need some more wood let's just take I'll make another chest. I don't think we've got any more around. When I was in the nether, I just, as I said, you obviously I found a fortress. Um, I because if you looked in here, you'll notice I got some blaze rods, which means we can do some more interesting stuff. Of course, chest, iron swords. We need three of those. We do need to do this for. I should have put it beside the chest so wherever we put the chest is the center of the location so i reckon that a good place to put it, it might be here but it might go and kill all the animals <laughs> i haven't thought about that let's go and put it down on the other side it'll have enough pressure in now to work so let's uh can i get that off there maybe i probably have to use the pneumatic wrench for doing this be careful don't pneumatic wrench something i don't want to good got it by default last time i played with this this drone was actually killing other drones as well <clears throat> which isn't what i'd intended it to do so let's have a look i think here would be a good place as it happens let's put it around here let's put this chest down oh i probably should put the chest down in the water but that might be a it might be okay we'll find out let's put it in the water just out of the way a bit it doesn't affect the water stuff so we're putting these three iron swords in here like this and then we can put the drone down. Oops. Should be able to shift click it on here like that. Well, I haven't put a standby upgrade in this. That's a mistake. So we need to do that as well. So uh, it'll float around now until it gets to that. So I'll make a quick standby upgrade. I'll come back in a second. So now. Let's quickly put the standby upgrade into this because this is definitely one that's not going to be running very often. So let's put the. I've made two standby upgrades. Um, why not? How much have we got in here now? We've got one of those. Now, what else can we use in? Security upgrade. Probably a good idea. Definitely a life item upgrade. I'll add that in. Range upgrade will obviously increase the range. Um, what else have we got in here? Volume upgrade increases and speed upgrade and a minigun upgrade. So we can do a minigun upgrade, which basically gives it a minigun. Um, I think it'll work without the minigun though. So, but I might need to install some item upgrades in here. So let's have a look. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to work. We'll find out. Let's put it down again. Where did it come to? I don't know. Shift and not click it in there. I see. There's a visual thing there. You get a slight visual bug where it basically does what it does. So last time I here, I had some pumpkins, incidents, and melons, and they kept flattening. The drone, the drone landed when it picked it up and then basically did its thing. I'm not sure I need to put a security upgrade in here because of water. It's a good idea, but this one's not such an expensive drone. It actually matters at the moment, so I'll just put it down here and see what happens. And I think it's fine. Good. So now it sits down there until a mob appears. Well, it's coming up to night time. So a mob should appear any minute now. Let's have a look. I'll wait a few seconds and I'll come back when it's night time. 
so it's night time so mobs should start to spawn in the area um, quite often they spawn up there we shall see doesn't take it very long normally I haven't done this one before we should have got an achievement for building the drone because we haven't actually done so look if we got an achievement for building the drone no didn't get one for doing that particular drone well there's a few mobs behind me anyway it actually was here because I was standing watering these crops <laughs> when the drone came when the creeper came and blew, blew me up so that was that. I actually died a second time as well in the nether I was very careless and messed around with them blocks and it didn't um, work I think it will do, we'll just move away a bit maybe we just need to be a little bit further away so the mobs can spawn nearer to that drone there's one coming over there Let's another look because if there's anything still there, nothing's happening yet. Hmm. When you want them, they they never come, do they? When you oh we go. Oh, no, that's the harvesting drone, he's busy harvesting stuff. The only thing here that I didn't tell you much about was this one here's got a security upgrade in it. And that's the one that allows it to go into water. The moment it's not in water, but if I push it off here. You'll see it goes down and it starts to breathe it gives you bubbles and that is <laughs> the what security update prevents it from doing goodness gracious me there i am all the time wanting some mobs around and it's oh there it goes now there we have a zombie so it's found this zombie and it's going to start attacking this zombie it's getting attacked itself i think so we'll check for its health when it's killed this zombie here i trust it can do one zombie yes it can good <laughs> so let's have a look at this and it's still got 20 health that's fine I think there's another one behind me let's go over here oh yes he's getting attacked again <laughs> great huh so with the minigun upgrade let's do the minigun upgrade I probably run out of time and maybe I have to do that next time let's so that's it, it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it as you can see there's a couple of zombies behind me which are getting attacked maybe we have to quickly fight one anyway next time wish you all the best till then bye for now